Members, good afternoon. May I call to order the special meeting of the establishments of committee. We have only got one item on our agenda, and that is to consider applications for late membership from 12 members. Uh, this is a continuation of our special meeting dated the 17th of March to consider the applications for late membership from uh, 12 members. At the last special meeting, the subcommittee decided to uh, defer uh, the decision on applications from Mr. Chen Hen Pen, Mr. Andrew Leung, and 10 other members. At the request of members, I wrote to these 12 members again after the last meeting, inviting them to our special meeting again so that they can answer members' questions and explain their applications. As at the 1st of April, 12 members of all replied to my uh, Letter. Uh, since uh, Dr. N. Chang is present today and all uh, remaining uh, members have uh, indicated that if no intention to attend this meeting, I've decided to consider Dr. N. Chang's application first. This is the first, fourth time we uh, convene a meeting to consider the late applications, and I've written to all members four times inviting these 12 members to attend our meeting. With the exception of Dr. N. Cheng, all 11 members have indicated that they have no intention to attend any meeting, and therefore I will not entertain any requests from members uh, to uh, defer or shelve uh, the decision for these 12 applications. And I will deal with these applications according to our the order of our agenda. Mr. Lee Chen asked at the last special meeting whether Ms. Elizabeth Quart has submitted a reply before the deadline, and according to the record of the Secretariat, uh, Dr. Quart did submit a reply before the deadline, indicating that she would not join this subcommittee. And the application documents are photocopied and tabled for members' information. And uh, please uh, show on the uh, screen the applications uh, we are going to consider today. And I will first deal with Dr. N. Zheng's request, and I'll give the floor to Dr. Zheng so that she can explain to us uh, why uh, her application was late. Dr. N. Zheng, as we all know, uh, there is an understanding agreement among members in uh, past terms, in previous terms, uh, that is, uh, members uh, should choose to uh, join either uh, the uh, ESC or the PWSC. And uh, usually half of the establishment camp would join uh, ESC and the other half PWSC. And I understand that and Democrats also uh, did the same. So I just followed our long-standing practice. Never did I imagine that before the deadline for joining this ESC, all Pan Democrats joined this subcommittee as well as the PWSC. So we did not know that the agreement uh, was already uh, reached. So, you or the Pan Democrats joined both subcommittees just uh, shortly before the deadline is due without uh, informing any of us. And I think you have gone back on your words and um, you haven't honored your undertaking. So, as a member of the pro establishment camp, I find the need to join the ESC. In October, I submitted a document to join this ESC. But from October to now, it's over six months. So far, Chairman, uh, consideration of our applications is not yet complete. Some Pan Democrats have made mistakes after mistakes. Do you know how much public resources we have wasted. Uh, 
uh, during the same period last year, nine meetings of the ESU were convened and 22 uh, papers were passed. But so far, for this term, we have uh, had seven meetings of the ESC, and only a few proposals have been approved. I don't think we are doing justice to uh, taxpayers. If this is to go on, well, I don't know how uh, the public are going to view legislators. We've only got a couple of months left, and we've only been able to pass seven proposals, so we have uh, wasted the entire year and we have let down the public. Chairman, I am very disappointed with the efficiency of this uh, subcommittee under your under your uh, leadership, so I don't think it's meaningful to join this yes see anymore, so I've already written a letter to you to withdraw my application. Thank you. All right, uh, so there is no need to consider your application. Thank you. I will deal with uh, the next uh, application from Mr. Chen Han Peng. Well, she just left after uh, she has spoken. And we must respond, all right? We can each have two minutes. Mr. Lee Chuck Yen, uh, you can uh, respond. Uh, she talks about uh, wasting time. In fact, uh, she's wasting time. And she thinks that passing more uh, papers would mean efficiency. I think the most efficient way will be uh, for the subcommittee to be um, abolished so that all government proposals can be endorsed. She has misunderstood the functions and duties of uh, the council. If all proposals from the government have to be passed, then there is no need to have any uh, committee or subcommittee. Uh, hearing uh, what Dr. En Cheng said, uh, she thought that uh, it was a waste of time and uh, very efficient to uh, go on in this way. I think that's a big insult. And she talked about uh, us going back on our words. There's been there's never been any agreement or undertaking. She said uh, in the past uh, half of uh, of uh, the pro establishment camp and the um, pan democrats would join uh, each subcommittee. I was never aware of uh, this undertaking, and it's because uh, we cannot coordinate as to uh, who should uh, take up the chair that uh, we've decided to join both subcommittees. So uh, her talk about um, us going back on our words and uh, our failing to uh, our breaching the agreement is totally untrue. In fact, with the exception of uh, the these two subcommittees, they have uh, taken up the chair of almost all panels and committees and subcommittees. And what I'm most uh, angry is she is not here today to join the ESC. Rather, she was present to withdraw her application. She should have just written uh, in to uh, tell us the intention, and there is no uh, need for us to come here to listen to her. All right. Any other comments or responses to Dr. An Cheng's uh, speech? If not, I will deal with the next application. That's from Mr. Chen Han Peng. Does any member wish to speak? Mr. Lee Chuck Yen, two minutes, please. I think the reason by Mr. Cheng Han Pen has been rehearsed in many other meetings and also in the PWSC. His reason is because a mistake made by uh, his assistant, uh, he could not uh, join the ESC before the deadline. It's just uh, similar to the situation of Elizabeth Quart. She indicated that she was not going to join before the deadline was due. So where's the mistake unless uh, her intention was to join the ESC and yet uh, his uh, or her assistant got it wrong? Now, if uh, they have uh, reverted their decision, please don't blame their assistants. We, they should not put the blame on uh, their own staff, uh, who are at a disadvantaged position. If uh, their assistant 
has really done anything wrong, uh, they could have uh, given him or her a warning letter, and that would make it difficult for them to find a job in the future. I regret that DAB members have uh, uh, used their assistance as their scapegoat. Uh, this is unacceptable. Uh, just like to ask that uh, Mr. Chen Pen uh, take the box for not joining previously. Did she? Did he do that previously? The secretariat. Now we looked at the case of Chen Pen. Uh, now on 22nd of September, he uh, supplied a return slip saying that he will not join. Sorry. It's the 3rd of October when he supplied the return slip. Yes, so it's before the deadline. It's not that they didn't, they didn't have the time. They already replied that they would, he wouldn't join before the deadline, so the letter was wrong. But anyway, he's not here. The letter is not true in the facts. I think that's regrettable. Any other member? Uh, two minutes, a uh, fan call, Gary Fan. Now, now, just now, uh, it said that uh, he said he wouldn't join on the third of October, and then uh, uh, on the eighth of eighth uh, of on the third of October he said he wouldn't join, and then on the eighth of October he said he he wrote in to said he would join. Yes, we uh, received. He replied slip on the 3rd of October saying that he wouldn't join. <coughs> Any other member wishes to speak on Mr. Chen Pen's application? Uh, any query or comment? If not, uh, I'd like to ask you to come to a decision on Mr. Chen's dis application. Those who are for, please raise your hands. Those against, please raise your hands. I think that the majority of the members are against this application. Uh, I declare the application not accepted. The next application is from Mr. Andrew Leung. Any member? Yes. Uh, Li Chang Yan, two minutes, please. Now. The grounds were those as for Mr. Champagne. Now, I'd like to ask, did he say previously that he wouldn't join the Secretary? Now, according to our records, now on the 22nd of September last year, Mr. Leung sent in a reply slip, said that he wouldn't join. So again, He's blaming this on the assistant, and the letter is not true because it said that I was unable to submit a uh, intention to join before the deadline. So it's again nothing to do with the assistant. It's blaming it on the assistant. The letter is not true in the facts. So again, he is. Uh, Blaming it on a staff member who is unable to speak out, so I am against the application. Any other member wishes to speak on Mr. Andrew Leung's application? Okay, now I ask you to come to a decision on Mr. Leung's application. Those four, please raise your hands. Those against, please raise your hands. I think a majority of the members is again, are against this application. I declare uh, Mr. Leung's application negative. The next one that we have to deal with is the application from Mr. Yip Kwok Him. Any member wishes to speak on Mr. Yip's application? Li Chek Yan. Again, it's about the facts. Uh, my same question. The Secretariat, the facts, please. Now, on the 3rd of October last year, we received a reply slip 
from Mr. Yipok Him that he considered inappropriate to join. So again, the assistant was not wrong. He changed his mind. And please don't blame it on the assistant. Any other member wishes to speak on Mr. Yip Kwok Him's application? I now ask you to come to a decision on Mr. Yip's application. Those for, please raise your hands. Those against, please raise your hands. I think a majority of the members are against the application. I declare that Mr. Uh, Yip's application has been uh, negatived. The next application is from Mr. Tony Che. Any member wishes to speak on Mr. Che's application? Li Chuk Yan. Uh, again, the facts first, please, Secretariat. M on the 23rd of September last year, we received a reply slip uh, from Mr. Tony Che saying that he didn't intend to join. Now, at least he didn't blame it on the assistant. He said that he wasn't able to uh, apply on time. Actually, he was. Now, he sent in a letter saying that he already indicated he didn't join, but now he would like to join now. Uh, that's better than the previous cases. Uh, he wasn't blaming it uh, on the assistant, but I still uh, am against it. So uh, on Mr. Chair's application, uh, please uh, raise your hands if you're in support. Those against, please raise your hands. I think a majority of the members are against the application. I declare that Mr. Tony Chair's application has been rejected. <coughs> the next application is that from Mr. Leung Chi Cheng. Well, perhaps the Secretariat can uh, tell us about the facts. Uh, in the case of Mr. Leung, uh, we received his reply slip on the 3rd of October saying that he didn't intend to join. Li Chou Yan, again it's the same. They all indicated that they wouldn't join and then they changed their mind and wanted to join. So there is uh, no case of, uh, uh, as they claim. Uh, so again, it's different from what's said in the letter. But again, uh, Leung Chi Cheng is better than other DAB members in that he didn't blame it on the assistant, whereas the other DAB members uh, blamed it on the assistant, but I'm also against this application. Any other members wishes to speak on Mr. Leung's application? I now ask you to come to a decision on Mr. Leung's application. Those for, please raise your hands. Those against, please raise your hands. I think a majority of the members are against the application. I declare that Mr. Leung's application has been rejected. The next application that we have to deal with is that from Mr. Wong Kok Heng. Connie, uh, the facts please. Now in Mr. Wong's case, uh, on 19th of September last year, we received his return slip saying that he didn't intend to join the subcommittee. Any other member, any member wishes to speak on Mr. Wong's application? Now he said that he wasn't able to submit the form in time due to uh, certain matters uh, now, uh, so that's the fact. Any other member wishes to speak on Mr. Wong's application? If not, I ask you to come to decision on Mr. Wong's application. Those for, please raise your hands. Those against, please raise your hands. I think a majority of the members are against the application. I declare Mr. Wong's application negative. <coughs> are rejected. Next application to be dealt with is that from Mr. Frankie Yik. Sorry. Now, next on the list is Miss Alice Mack's application. Connie, uh, the facts, please. In Miss Mack's case, 
We also received her reply slip on the 3rd of October last year saying that she didn't intend to join. Any members wishes to speak on Ms. Mack's application? No. I now ask you to come to decision on Ms. Mack's application for late membership. Those in favour, please raise your hands. Those against, please raise your hands. I think a majority of the members are against the application. I declare that Ms. Mack's application has been rejected. Next application to be dealt with, that from Ms. Frankie Yick Connie, the situation in this case, please. We received his reply slip on 3rd of October last year saying that he didn't intend to join. Any member wishes to speak on this application? If not, I ask members to come to a decision on Mr. Yick's application. Those for, please raise your hands. Those against, please raise your hands. I think a majority of the members are against the application. I declare that Mr. Yick's application has been rejected. The next member, Mr. Cheng Kam Lam. Connie, the situation in Mr. Cheng's case, please. Uh, again, we received his return slip on 3rd of October last year saying that he didn't intend to join. Any member? Uh, Chen Kham, uh, Mr. Li Chang Yan. Uh, it's again regrettable that Mr. Chen Kham Lam blamed it on the uh, assistant. I think it's regrettable that he blamed it on the, his mistake on the assistant or blamed the assistant for his changing of mind. Any member wishes to speak? If not, I ask you to come to the decision on Mr. Chen's application. Those four, please raise your hands. Li Yan, are you four? Those against, please raise your hands. I think a majority of the members are against this application. I declare that Mr. Chen Kam Lam's application has been rejected. The next application to be dealt with is that from Mr. Tam Yu Chong. Um, Connie, the situation in Mr. Tam's case. Uh, we also received his reply slip on the 3rd of October last year saying that he didn't intend to join. Any member wishes to speak on the application? Mr. Li Cheng Yan. Again, it's regrettable that the DAB members blamed it on the assistant. Thank you. Any other member wishes to speak? If not, I ask you to come to decision on Mr. Tam Yu Chong's application. Those four, please raise your hands. Those against, please raise your hands. I think a majority of the members are against the application. I declare Mr. Tam's application rejected. I believe now we are down to the last application that from Mr. Jeffrey Lam. Connie, uh, the situation in Mr. Lamb's case, we replied his reply, return, received his uh, slip uh, on uh, 3rd of October last year. Again, it's regrettable that he blamed it on the, uh, someone else he didn't intend to join. Any other member wish to speak on this last application? Fine. I now ask you to come to a decision on Mr. Jeffrey Lamb's application. Those four, please raise your hands. Those against, please raise your hands. I think a majority of the members are against the application. I declare that Mr. Lamb's application has been rejected. We have dealt with all the applications and there is no need to hold any special meetings of the Establishment Committee to deal with these applications. Thank you all. Thank you, Secretariat.